Alright, this morning we're going to learn how to build multiple common table expressions. And we're going to use an example that you could all, you could throw into one. Uh, this, the only purpose of this is to demonstrate uh, that you could build several of them in a row. This comes in handy a lot with financial analysis. Uh, I've seen people that will populate a temp table and then build the common table expression and do a join. You can actually do several common table expressions and then do a join. And so that's one thing to, to save time. Uh, keep in mind that common table expressions, if you're just doing um, one query off of a temp table, more often than not, the common table expression is a much better idea. So let's go over this really fast, just as a quick review. Common table expression, generally speaking, if it's in the middle of a lot of queries, you're going to want to put a semicolon with the name of the common table expression as in the parentheses, you're going to have your query. In this case, we have, we're selecting row number over, um, over order by contact date descending as ID. You'll always want to name any field. If I get rid of this, you'll see there will become an error. Um, in fact, I can try to select from this and you'll see no column name was specified for um, the table. So you'll make sure you're going to name any field that you add. And then we can select star from it and it adds an ID field. Okay, so how do we go ahead and create another uh, common table expression. So we have begin CT, let's do end CT. And as I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it pretty much using something that we could put into one table, just as an example. And you'll see we have the row number order by contact ID descending, just like this one. Remember that if you do a second common table expression, it has to have a join condition. just like other tables. Even if it's not going to be like sequential, you'll still need some type of um, join condition. So now I'm going to select b.id and I'm going to select e.seid and I'm going to select that from begin CTE and then I'm going to enter join end CTE alias this is b end as e on b.id equals e.id. So what we've done up to this point is a basic join, really. You have one set of data and another set of data. This is where it confuses people. Some people will put another with right here and that's not correct. And so you'll see that the syntax, again, it follows the same rules within the parentheses. The syntax is going to be, of course, you know, with right here. You're going to put a comma, the name of the next table, as, and then again in your parentheses. And again, we could take this yet another step further, and we could go here, and we could say um, middle CTE, and so on and so forth. For the sake of this example, I'm not going to do that. But this is very useful when you're doing anything that involves um, sequences, when you're doing anything that involves um, What's the, what's the term like duration gaps, time gaps. Um, when you're trying to organize data, you could use um, this type of methodology for calculating median. Um, it's very useful for those things without trying to populate a temp table. Again, if you're only selecting once from a subset of data, I highly advise not using a temp table, usually a common table expression, especially if the data are limited, is going to, will be more useful than, than using that. So, as you can see, it's very simple to build a second common table expression, or third, or fourth, or fifth, and uh, you can go from there. There is a point at which when you're looking at data such as this, that it might be simpler to put it into a temp table and then calculate averages from that, maybe do self-joins. But with a couple of these, I would say that more often than not with a, with a long query, especially if you're just selecting once from it, it actually would be more useful to do it this way.